am thrilled to introduce our next guest, one of my BFFs here at the Aesthetic Show, <laughs> uh, Jay Shore, who is the founder and managing partner of Shore Solutions, and Mara Shore. Hi there. Yes, she is the VP of Marketing and Business Development at Shore Solutions, but even more important, yes, daughter of Jay, lovely daughter of Jay. Welcome. Hi, uh, thank you, Dr. Mauricio. It's always a pleasure to see you year after year at different conferences that we're working together at. Well, this is incredible, and I love the topic that we're going to discuss because I want to know, yes. how do you use influencers without giving out free treatments? You know, it's an age-old problem that is of this particular age. And we have every single client that we have, they're asking us more and more about influencer marketing and people. So important. Yes, and you know, we were talking about this today. It's they're self-deemed influencers from time to time. And it's knowing who your target market is and having everything in place ahead of time, right? Because I think what happens is that somebody comes to them yes. and an influencer comes to a practice and they say, I want you to give this to me for free. And that's it. There are no metrics put into place. There's no contract put into place. Nobody knows the expectations ahead of time. Right, I mean, and I've experienced that myself because obviously, you know, you want to build a brand. Yes. Um, and influencers are so important. First, how do you even choose the right influencer? And second, when you get them in your door, it's like, when does it end? What's the accountability? Right. And then a formal contract, I think, is so important. Yes. So give us some tips. Sure, sure. So we say that you want to do your research, making sure that the influencers that come to you are the right target market for you, the right age demographic, the right, uh, the, they have the right audience, right? Is it the right geographic? So do they have yeah. followers in your area? Is this relationship going to make any difference? And putting all of those numbers into place. So Jay has a saying, and we all know it, is that what gets measured gets managed and vice versa. Right, So we talk about this and we work with clients and we know that we've had influencer marketing gone wrong. And we've, you've worked and worked with the, quite a few clients on that in the past. And we work and Jay has been negotiating all sorts of contracts for our clients for years. And this is just a new type of contract that comes into play. And you want to make sure that you treat it like any other marketing contract that you would have gotten into in the past. And so I think a lot of practices, they're used to that, yes, you'd have key performance indicators and metrics for TV, for radio, for all of those other more traditional marketing, and this is no different. So Jay, and even talk about when you even would go and look with, when you used to advertise in the practice, television, yeah. radio marketing, what did you expect from those campaigns? Because it's not really all that much different. It's so true. Very interesting yeah. because when you decide that you want to market to a specific type of a product or a procedure mm -hmm. or a surgical procedure, today the word influencer uh, means so much because there are so many people that claim to be influencers. That's it. I actually, my daughter bought me this shirt that says influencer, because anybody can be an influencer. <laughs> anybody that can buy a t-shirt from Target is now Correct. an influencer, right? I actually like to think that um, one of my biggest claims to fame is that I was an influencer. And people say to me, well, what do you mean you're an influencer? I said, well, I'm a father. I'm certainly an influencer, You're an influencer right? You did a me. great job. <laughs> <laughs> you did an amazing job. But, this is like my dream right here to be working with too. my daughter. Right. Well, that's an influencer as a father and daughter team. But truly, what, one of the things that I think uh, is best is picking the right influencer. Yes. Right. So pick an influencer that is a mark, uh, a target to your specific market. Mm -hmm. Don't have a male as an influencer to a female type of a product. And if you're trying to attract to the male population, have a male. Right. But don't have the key typical square jaw model influencer that's targeting and marketing to a product of the typical average male that is not that type of a person. Right. So they have to be relatable. Exactly. Right? Exactly. And ask so that you know ahead of time, what does each party expect? So what does the influencer expect from the practice? Mm -hmm. And what does the practice expect from the influencer? And how are you going to look at those metrics afterwards to see was this a successful campaign? Right, I think that's the big issue for me is accountability. Because, Correct. You know, they, I mean, they can keep coming for more and more treatments, but then you're like, how do you measure 
Is it, you know, are you getting, really getting the return on your investment? And you guys are saying, don't even give free treatments, is that I, true? Or, or make sure you're getting a return on investment? Make sure you're getting a return on your investment. Mm -hmm. We say an ROI, Jay, it's the same ROI percentage that we look at for all other marketing, and I'll let you give that number. Well, look, there is a really a cost to doing something for free. Now, right, whether true. or not you're able to get product um, or uh, sample products mm -hmm. or even skincare products sure. from vendors, there's still a cost when you give away a product. You as a surgeon, you as a right. dermatologist, Correct. you overhead. have to know yes. your, your overhead <laughs> yes. and your time Correct. is a cost associated with it. People don't realize that. They say, well, my time is, was just my time. And I say, no, that's yeah. not true. So you have to measure and manage what did that influencer bring to me? Mm -hmm. I personally will give away a lot of things if I know that you're bringing me back something. Your, yes. But let me make one real, real important point and let Mara close with it. People don't really understand that influencers are patients. And don't so ever treat an influencer any different than you would treat any patient from consents to photography. Right. Don't have an influencer that tells you you can't use my before and after photos. That's the purpose of What's having the point? an influencer. And I say, so you want that ROI, look at an ROI at least three and a half to one. And when we look at mm. the, what you're investing, like you said, it's overhead, it's time, it's product, right? That right. product does have a price point attached to it. And even if you're going to give away that particular treatment for free, that doesn't mean that that influencer then becomes a free patient for life, that you treat them for everything for the rest of their life. That is something we really want to make sure you're not consistently giving away the farm. And sometimes because, you know, we're, we're doctors, we're, we're, you feel bad, you know, and, and if someone is kind of pushing you, pushing you, or your staff, it's like sometimes it's awkward if you didn't set those um, expectations exactly. ahead of time. Then yes. when do you pull the plug? When do you start saying, no, you can't have this if they're asking for it? Well, and, go ahead. Also make sure that that influencer isn't also an influencer for your competitor down the street. Yes. Right. Exclusivity yes. is very important. Yes, and I encourage you have a con like I said, have a contract. Ask if they are truly an influencer, then they will have a contract for you as well. And I that's would even a, I would even ask know. you, not ask you, but have you ask your your lawyer or a your healthcare attorney may have them review the contract as well to make sure that there's no violations in there because again, yes, it's a marketing contract, but wow. they're also a patient. So, and making sure that you set those parameters right up front, it's going to help you out of those awkward conversations later because this is the deal. This is what we agreed upon. This is the treatment. Right. It's, you don't get free treatments in perpetuity. That's right. not how this works. Or if you're not posting or whatever it is because that's the, you know, it's like Spell how it do you out. approach them if you never knew what is expected? Yes. And um, well, we shouldn't, as a, a, a medical practice, be honored by the fact that the influencer is representing us. Wow, we have ABC, XYZ, whatever the name of that person is, we have them representing our brand. Yes. Also, the influencer should be honored to be able to represent Dr. Mauricio because there are far less qualified I people agree. to represent. And as an influencer, I would be honored to be the representative of you and your practice. Right, and I think choosing the right influencer who's not just there um, you know, for free treatments, but actually believes in you, yes. believes in what your it's practice key. stands for, and it is an authentic, authentic yes. endorsement is key. For Absolutely. me, that's the most important. And I encourage you when you work with an influencer, and we're talking on this tomorrow as well, we're gonna be talking about this, but give them, as you practice, give that influencer your brand guide so that they can talk in an educated manner about your practice. Give them your brand guide. How do you talk about yourself? What is the practice's mission? What does the practice reflect? What are some of the practice's greatest achievements? Do you do mission work? Have the, have the influencer talk about some of your mission work. How do you want to be known in the community? Such Lastly, great advice. Lastly, don't sell the product. Don't have the influencer sell the neuromodulator, mm -hmm. the dermal filler. Everybody sells those. Have the influencer sell you.
Yeah. It's Dr. Mauricio. Yes. There's so many people in town. Why should they come to you? Good question. <laughs> Thank you, Jay. <laughs> Thank you, Laura. So great speaking with you again. All right.